Hello, this is Jeremy Miners of Servant United Parish. I will be leading you today in our daily devotions. Our reading is from Christ in Our Home with our Bible readings from today's English version. Today's reading for Thursday, October 20th, is from Jeremiah chapter 14, verses 7 through 10 and 19 through 22. My people cry out to me. Even though our sins accuse us, help us, Lord, as you have promised. We have turned away from you many times. We have sinned against you. You are Israel's only hope. You are the one who saves us from disaster. Why are you like a stranger in our land, like a traveler who stays for only one night? Why are you like a man taken by surprise, like a soldier powerless to help? Surely, Lord, you are with us. We are your people. Do not abandon us. The Lord says about these people, They love to run away from me, and they will not control themselves. So I am not pleased with them. I will remember the wrongs they have done and punish them because of their sins. Now to 19. Lord, have you completely rejected Judah? Do you hate the people of Zion? Why have you hurt us so badly that we cannot be healed? We looked for peace, but nothing good happened. We hoped for healing, but terror came instead. We have sinned against you, Lord. We confessed our own sins and the sins of our ancestors. Remember your promises and do not despise us. Do not bring disgrace on Jerusalem, the place of your glorious throne. Do not break the covenant you made with us. None of the idols of the nations can send rain. The sky by itself cannot make showers fall. We have put our hope in you, O Lord, our God, because you are the one who does these things. God keeps promises. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us. Verses 9. This passage from Jeremiah describes a drought experienced by the kingdom of Judah and interprets the arrival of that particular natural disaster as a result of human sin. It's a challenging word to hear, especially when the world today is ravaged by natural disasters of all kinds. However, the point of this passage is that actions have consequences. We read throughout the Bible that our choices both those we make as individuals and those we make as a community affect the world around us. So perhaps in light of this reading, we might ask ourselves two questions. First, how can we hold ourselves accountable for the ways we are complicit in destroying and harming God's creation? And second, how do we rest in God's grace and trust in God's promises to never forsake us? For we believe that even amid disaster, tragedy, and chaos, God is present. God has made a promise to be with us, and God keeps promises. So, we set our hope on God and pray for God's guidance to help us find our way. Now, let us pray. Creator God, we pray for all whose lives are affected by natural disasters. Amen. Let's end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.